Round one. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, you guys. Got a request for some Valkyrie, so we're gonna do some Valkyrie. You know, I something doesn't click right with me. Valkyrie. I don't know what it is, but something just doesn't click. It, it just... I'm not sure. For some reason, I just feel like I can't. Wow, he parried that. You're insane. Oh, almost got him out of that. Frame advantage, parry it. Yep, I'm gonna hit the wall. There we go, we got him. But yeah, like, something about Valkyrie... Kind of same with JJ. Uh, I, I don't know, there's just something that just... <laughs> There's something about them that just doesn't click in my brain, and I, I guess they just don't fit my playstyle very well. I'm not sure, but something about them just doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't work right. So I tend to not do very well with her, despite her being a pretty solid character. Oh wow! I wonder if I wouldn't have. Oh, nice bait. I wonder if I wouldn't have. Um. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, that's so much damage. If I wouldn't have uh, bashed, if that would have hit me unfortunate there we go okay, I'm low on stam item oh unlucky one more time one more time okay okay oh my gosh we got him okay he played very well there I think that in the beginning of that round, if I hadn't actually let my bash fly and I wasn't in the middle of it with that four bomb in him, I think his bash probably would have whiffed. So maybe I could have just held it for longer. Maybe I'll try doing that at the beginning of this round, see if he tries opening up the exact same way he did the second round. And so I'll just kind of sit in it and see if he tries bashing me out of range again. Now he's probably in range though. I can also dodge out of it like that. Nice parry. I'm just going to keep letting these fly. Oh, there we go. There we go. He finally went for the parry. Nice read. There we go. Frame advantage. Ooh. There we go. We read that he was going to do the heavy there instead of the light, and we got the parry, baby. That was definitely, uh, I could tell that this guy knows what he's doing. That was actually kind of difficult for the first game. GG, man. GG. All right, you guys. He went for the rematch and he pulled out a gladiator. Only rep two. I'm only rep two with Valk two. That's all right. We'll see what we can do. Yorm actually has some unreactable pressure, whereas Glad not so much. Um, but I do tend to mess up the in-chain bash reaction. So we'll see how that goes. Open that up the same way. Oh. Okay. How does that miss? What? How is that missing? He's dodging so early. Dodge bash again? Yep. Yeah. Okay, nothing there. Light him here. One more time. Okay. All right. Yeah, th that was weird. Uh, it looked like he was bash or dodging like really early, and then I was bashing at like the end of his dodge. And the second time, it actually kind of looked like he was already done dodging, and that he was standing still whenever I let the bash fly, and it still missed. So those iframes just carry on for the entirety. Nice parry, man. And he is just... Oh. There we go. I should have dodge bashed that. Ooh. He almost got me there. I don't know why I threw that light, dude. Oh, that's not even guaranteed and I let it hit me. Ah, oh, see? See what I mean? I tend to do that. Go for the light. Okay. Oh, I just stared at it, dude. Oh, man. That sucks. I had no reason to lose that. I did not expect him to do a dodge forward light into his unblockable for an out of stand punish. So I just didn't expect to have to react to something right there.
I did try reacting. I was just a bit late. Ah, I tried dodging out. Man, he is actually kind of owning me a little bit. Ah, he lets it fly, dude. Okay, there we go. And if I would have guard broken like, like that last time, then I would have been okay. Okay. Ah, I need guard breaks. There we go. He goes for the light. Okay. Yeah, no reason to be losing to be losing against this. I just uh messing up the reactions. <coughs> he made a lot of good reads there though. Like I lighted him twice. And then I expected him to wait for another light or do a toe stab or something, but instead he guard broke. And if I would have lighted again, then I would have hit him. So I, I I don't know. I guess he made the read that I was gonna mix it up with a heavy that time. Which was a good read. Nice. Yeah, he's just taking that bash. Hmm. Okay. See if he goes for toe stab or something. There we go. Still going for the lights. Punished for it a couple times. He went for the light that time and it didn't end up hurting him. Oh man, unfortunate. Yeah, he's just choosing not to... Oh man. Okay, we got him. The raw heavy got him. Yeah, he's choosing not to uh, worry about my bash. And he's... he's So it's like, I, I have very limited options. I guess I just have to just bash him more often. And the follow-up after the bash, I just find so useless. Like, there's nothing... Like, if you dodge attack, I can't... I can't even... All I, I don't know. It just f feels too easy to avoid, I guess. So I don't use it very often. GG, man. GG. All right, we have a new opponent. I fought this guy before, but he's playing Warmonger. Warmonger is very difficult. That was kind of rude. Let's see if he goes for the parry here. That just phases right through his body. Oh my gosh. Okay. He's choosing to be very... Oh no. He's making all the wrong reads so far. That was just stupid. Oh my gosh, the timing. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to bash, dude. Okay, well, I just got absolutely demolished. Uh, okay. That was hard, dude. That was hard. <laughs> I just made every single incorrect read. That is one thing that I really struggle against fighting warmongers, is warmongers who really love to use the dodge heavy like that. It's just so hard for me to i don't know i don't know what it is i just can't ever seem to do well against that move it feels so inconsistent fighting it um and like stuff stuff that just looks like it would totally hit just doesn't so kind of frustrating oh man yeah, he's done this follow-up light every time I'll take the damage. Okay. Very uh, repetitive pattern, although it is difficult to deal with because it's Warmonger and she's unreactable. It is a pretty readable pattern so far. After the first round. He opened up the same way, doing a lot of follow-up lights, stuff like that. Hmm. There we go. Still doing follow up lights. Oh, he baited that. Wow, I actually haven't dodged level one once yet. I can't believe he's still not learning. Wow. I can't believe that he's still not learning not to do follow up lights after parrying it so many times. Like, he, he did a follow up heavy once at the beginning of that round and I thought he had learned. Um. So I was like, oh, okay, he adapted, he adapted. Now I'm going to have to start making reads on this. But then he did follow up lights again right after that. So, <laughs> I don't know. Wow. I don't, I don't crush and counter that. Rain advantage? 
See, that's what I'm talking about. Just being able to do that right there, I find so stupid. You parry that. Yeah, well, I'm pretty much dead, dude, after, after just all that. He parries that too? Oh my gosh, you're insane, bro. What are these reads? Oh, I don't understand those reads right there, man. I don't get I don't get it. Okay. Man, that's so hard. I, dude, I really struggle with Warmonger. It's she's insane. Okay, I got broke him out of it. Okay. That hits him. Oh man, he does it again. Okay. There we go. We got him. Wow, yeah, that was definitely not easy, dude. That that guy was just so aggressive and using all that frame advantage that he gets on Warmonger, and it just felt like it was constantly his turn, and I was on the back foot defending the entire time. And he also has that dodge heavy just to get out of so much stuff in my chain. So that was that was pretty difficult, man. GG, brother. All right, we got a new opponent. It's an Afira. It isn't a, a PC Afira, so we'll see how that goes. It could be very difficult, potentially. Okay, no, no crushing counter. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, very passive to start. Wow, he lights through that. And I get timing. And I don't react to that. Dude, the timing on this is insane. What? Ugh. Oh. I'm dead, dude. I, I, dude, I, I am like one of the only people that you can just do that to all the time. Like, that happens to me all the time. I just get in there, get timing every single every single attack, and everything just falls apart and I lose the round. And it just looks like I'm terrible. But it's just like, I don't know how I'm just, I'm just so unlucky. At least that's what it feels like. There we go. I don't know how I don't how I don't deflect that. Well, I lied at him. Didn't think he would throw it. Yeah, like how did I how did I lose how did I lose to that? I don't. Okay, maybe he just made the wrong reads. I don't know. Maybe he's not as bad as he looked that round. But I looked really bad the first round too. So like, <laughs> it's just like I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just me getting a read on somebody. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't I don't know how I lose so badly that that first round though. It's just like timing and stuff. Oh, and he baits me, man. Fear is just insane. And you throw that, dude. You're insane. And I don't parry that. Oh my gosh, this is so insane. And he tried to deflect it, dude. You're crazy. Oh my gosh, Afira is just stupid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought that was a kick, so I dodge attacked and I got lucky because he fainted to GB. Holy man, Afira is so hard, dude. Having this neutral bash that you could just spam for 50 50 pressure over and over again, and then you get into this chain stuff that's also really insane. She's got insane defensive tools. Like, she is just so good, man. She is unbelievable. Yeah, she's going for deflex on that. One more time. Okay. See, like, how did I get timing there? <laughs> Light me. I'm just gonna hit him with it. There we go. Yeah, I just uh, just play like so much more defensive and so much more safe because I have to worry about everything that she has all the time, even in my chain. So feel free to press the button. Oh, OK. Well, sorry about that, man. <laughs> I felt like I was, but whatever, man. GG. All right, you guys. This is going to be the last fight of the video, and it's a Valkyrie. He's rep 38. Ooh. This is going to be hard. I already know this is going to be hard. Okay.
Oh, he dodged that time, but it didn't work. What? 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 How did that hit me? Oh, and he does the he does the heavy. There we go. Oh man. Okay. Free vintage. Oh, and I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't know how that light even hit me. I don't even feel like I I didn't even click anything. I was just trying to block, and I don't even think I moved my guard. I don't I don't know how it hit me. It gave him it gave him a massive health advantage there. I, I'm not sure exactly what happened. But okay, regardless, that was that was pretty unfortunate. Oh yeah, I forget. Can't do that anymore. Nice. How does that hit me? Wow, that does 18 damage. That's insane. How did that sweep hit me? I guess my re I'm just reacting slow today. I'm not sure. I have no idea. That that sweep like never hits anybody because it's so easily to react, easy to react to. I dodge, it hits me out of my dodge. <laughs> Am I supposed to dodge the other direction? Is that what's going on? I don't feel like I dodge slow at all. Okay, I, I just need to stop doing that, but... Man, that just doesn't hit. Okay. Oh, I didn't think you would do it. Ah, oh, man, I keep telling myself not to do that, and I'm still doing it. What?! Uh, how did I miss that parry? What is wrong with me this game? How did he just do a neutral dodge forward light and I can't parry that? Oh my gosh. Uh, it's just embarrassing. I, I, dude, I feel, I swear I'm parrying it. I swear I'm parrying it. It felt like I parried it. Round and it just hits me anyways. Dang, that, I feel like I've gotten ripped two rounds in a row, but it's probably not me getting ripped. It's probably just me, but I just don't know what I'm doing. What, what's wrong? What, what, what is going on with me? Okay. He definitely plays a little weird. Man. Nice. Hmm. There we go, we got him. I need to make sure I don't do the dodge forward into my bash very often because he's just doing random guard breaks and that's kind of Valkyrie's weakness like going into a heavy into your into your thing is just into your all guard bash mix up it's just so unsafe because it's there's so much GB vulnerability on that uh, and same if you do the dodge forward one it's just so much GB vulnerability that it's difficult. Okay. Nice. Okay. What? Wow, I can't believe throwing a raw heavy there works. Brain advantage. He parries it. Brain advantage again. Going to this. Oh my gosh, he holds it. Oh, he went for the crushing counter, but he missed it. Oh, I can't believe he held his bash all the way through my heavy faint and to my light and held it that entire time. That was that was a crazy read that he made there. That was pretty difficult, man. Valkyrie, she is nuts sometimes. All right, but that is going to wrap up the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. GG, man. GG.